All right, in this quick little example of the loop start point passing through the loop end point, uh, how we're going to do it to demonstrate this as cleanly as possible, you turn the input trim just a bit off uh, from full, at least with uh, the modules I'm using here, so that we're not clipping it, distorting it. We have no feedback whatsoever, and we're going to fill the memory and then turn the recording off. So I'm filling the whole loop buffer, that way we can play with the full loop start and end. Turn that off so you only have the yellow play LED on. We're going to listen only to the full wet sound at that point. Switch looping on, and then uh, it'll be pretty obvious. So you can obviously hear the dry and the delayed at the same time. Should be full. So we turn off recording. Input is obviously down. Delay only. Turn loop on. Oh yeah. So I've never really gotten this to do any reversing effects. That's what this switch is for. This sound, though, can be cool when you actually are recording something. Get a little bit of gnarl and grit on there. Throw some feedback in. <laughs> 